ओके तो स्टार्ट द रिकॉर्डिंग so location and this one so now manage locations i want to create a manage location and uh, it should be in financials okay financials manage location click on select here and click on manage location and click on create so let me create the location and here let me so our is g right so g so let me go for the g location i am taking the g <coughs> code itself g location okay so then here i can let me take the zip code so based on zip code also we can query So let me take zip code zero zero one, right? So this is zip code, I think. So we um, are click on OK. Okay, fine. At this line, what I can do is G location. I can take this one G location. Okay. So that's fine for the creation of the location. So then save it. Oh, save it. Save it and submit. Save, and then you can submit it. Let's submit and click on yes. So this is the how to create the location. So let me quickly create the business unit. So you know we define. So let let us have our own. Okay. So business unit. So click on uh, business unit. Yes. So click on create. I I am creating G. HID business unit, okay. E Hyderabad business unit, okay. For this here, I am taking the G location, okay. Otherwise, if you are not able to get it, so let me select here. G percentage search here, search it. So you will get the G location. Click on OK. And this one is a common set. We use the common set. So the common. U M L Y N common search it. So you can take the comma. Not fine. So then save and close. Okay, let us see G save and close. So we did it. So here this is a G location and this one is fine. So now I want to assign business unit to business uh, business unit business function. Okay. So uh, for that, so let me go to business unit business function. Assign business unit business function. This one business unit business function. Okay. Here we have the other. So in this case, what you can do is, so because you need to select the, you need to select the, um, uh, you need to select the um, ledger for this. So here you can query, you can go to setup, and here you can share, you can query this one. Here you can you need to select. Select this one because uh, you need to select the concerned business unit here. Select and add. Click on apply and go to that. So we need to select our business unit. Our C G set sheet. And if you have any doubt, please stop me and we can we can discuss. Okay. So and select the business unit and save and close. Save and close. So now you need to you need to give all the the data. So I am giving the uh, billing and revenue. Customers, customer payments. So let me give most all expense payment. Incentive we don't require. Okay, incentive I am not discussing. Uh, Material means also the, let me go for payroll, payables. Okay, procurement and uh, procurement contract. Project account also we are not discussing. Let me let me take most of the things. Okay, so uh, let me take. So you can select all. So I have the sales service request. We don't need anything. Sales and service request. Typically, we don't need these things. Okay, so then uh, so let me yeah, let me assign so primary ledger. So uh, we are taking the seeded data ES primary ledger ES primary. Otherwise, if you are not able to get it, so what you can do is 
So then uh, select sketch the data. So sketch the data. So yes, <coughs> primary. Yes, primary. So yes, one primary edge. So select, click on OK. So then now what happens is, so we here what we did is so we already already we discussed it. And uh, and here, uh, so we selected the business unit functions. That means the different um, uh, functionalities that we are going to discuss for the business unit. And we assigned by ledger and save and close. Okay. Okay, okay. And uh, this uh, invoicing, customer invoicing will come under billing and revenue management, right? Because of? Yeah, uh, customer invoicing, yeah, yeah, in that only. Yeah, in that only, correct. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, we are using this business unit for AP, AR, FA, and everything. We are doing. We are using for all. Okay. So verify data role generation. So now let me verify the data roles. So you can. So you can go to the setup and maintenance, and you can verify that. Verify data role generation. Okay. Verify data roles. So okay. Click on verify data role generation. It will go to the APM. In the same way, what I can do, we can do is so. Um, uh, let me let me create a one implementation user because so we can't do all these things here because it is a different one, right? This is a different user. So let me create sure. an implementation user. Implementation user. Okay. And one more thing, Prasad. Yeah. Um, now we have uh, we have assigned the business function okay. to the ledger. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, business function. Okay. I... Yeah. We are map. We are we mapped here. We mapped. So actually, so legal entity. Le so we first we create ledger and the ledger is mapped to legal entity. And here we are mapping business unit with legal entity and ledger. This is a kind of mapping. So if you go for this one, and uh, and while creation of the enterprise structure also. So it is. Uh, so we hmm. we mapped the um, so legal entity led uh, business unit to uh, business unit to legal entity led. Um, uh, uh, at the enterprise level, so if you if you take the multi R, so here we have the multi R, right? So uh, enterprise, enterprise section, mm -hmm. correct. And, uh, so legal entity, ledger, and business unit inventory R, right? So here while creation of the oh, yeah. legal entity, we so you will get the legal entity and uh, business unit, okay? And ledger is mapped mm -hmm. to legal entity. And here, while creation of the business unit, ledger and legal entity is mapped here, so like that. And while creation of the inventory arc, business unit, these things will be mapped. So if you map the inventory arc with the business unit, so by default you are mapping business unit with legal entity and ledger. So because the business unit is already mapped with the legal entity and ledger, and if you map the business, mm -hmm. that means you are giving integration between all. That is the thing. Correct. So when we created business unit, we have uh, mentioned the legal entity it mentioned the ledger is it uh, come again please. in the manage in the manage business unit task yeah yeah okay uh, we have assigned the ledger correct correct yeah we assigned ledger and uh, by default we got the legal entity because uh, a legal entity is assigned to ledger already assigned to ledger correct 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 okay yeah Okay, okay. And under under assign business unit business function, we need not again select what is a business unit and all. Since no, 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 the no. ledger is main. Yeah, no need to again. Yeah. By default, it will it will apply for all all the functionalities, all the functions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All the business functions. So here the business function is payroll, receivables, uh, payables, receivables, um, purchasing, procurement, all the event uh, material management. These are all the business functions. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. <clears throat> now, let me go to the. So let me create a user. Okay, later uh, than so here, what I can do is, so uh, let me go to the payables template. Okay, I want to because now we are currently working on the pay payments, right? So let me go for the. So already it will be generated. But otherwise, we can go for that role template, and here I can get okay, I can go for the payables. Payables. Click on. Go to task. Hmm. 
so click on go to task so here what i can do is so payables right payables payables stretch yeah yeah you have you have the tables tables select here and click on open this is how to open the folder just click on open so now it will be open and and these are the roles okay these are all the roles okay so these are all the job roles we call it as a job role job role plus so so uh, security will be the duty role so once the, this job role for this job role for example payable manager if you add the business unit then it is a kind of a data role because we are adding the so we are adding a data um, for the job role okay so now i am just uh, giving the generate roles because already by default it will be generated but uh, anyhow i am just generate, so i am just uh, giving the generate uh, generating role so if you go for the summary you can check it okay so there are some invalid roles some valid roles okay. fine so next one is so we generated the roles our right, system will generate and we i am also uh, generated manually so main is user so let me create a user so we can use this user as a for the implementation user as well because so if you assign the implementation um, uh, roles then we can use that one okay so for this what we can do is click on manage role manage user manage user and uh, select it create create new user because without the without the user we can't uh, without the user we can't go for the other stuff procurement agent all this stuff okay here i am i am giving g user okay and uh, mail id is g dot user at the date gmail.com okay now so there is a date so i need g dot user okay person type so i employ okay so that's fine and you need to provide the legal employer so this is es1 legal entity and business unit is es1 business unit es business unit so let me give the business unit es1 business unit okay that's so fine. we created so, a business right uh, prasad can't we use that oh okay 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 yeah yeah correct that is true yeah you are correct you can use that one yeah, that is good yeah, g hyderabad correct that's good because anyhow this business unit is assigned to us one legal intelligence so we can use this one. that's a good idea yeah fine so now save and close save and close okay that's fine so we don't need the create implementation user again so i what i can do is so we'll che we'll uh, we'll check the we'll, we'll go to the create implementation user then i will check this user our user and i will assign the roles i will assign the roles for that because there are two ways so we can uh, we can uh, we can create implementation user and then we can do that here uh, our uh, we are uh, we will assign the Our roles, the implementation roles, so which IT security manager, implementation consultant, employee. These are the main roles for the implementation user. So we can use this user both the ways as the implementation user and also for the transaction user. Because uh, to create manage the procurement agents, the user should be there. So the this user should be there. Okay. So now click on done. So here uh, let me create implementation user. Because then only I can go to the IDM. I can go to IDM. Create implementation user. Then I can go to the IDM. So just the user creation. It's not IDM. Uh, no. Only implementation. Yeah, yeah. For the implementation. No, no. So here for just the user creation, you can do in FSM. So function set manager. But here in the for in IDM, what we do is 
there are two ways. You can create user and also you can do the roles. You can assign the roles. Because here, assign roles. Yeah, yeah. So here I need to assign the roles as well, right? So that's why I'm just... So when it comes to role assignment, it is always in IDM. Yeah, security yeah. Security correct, 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 correct. So here... So the roles will be generated. Well, roles will be generated in the APM and will be assigned, will be assigned in IDM. That is thing. Here the roles will be generated and that roles will be assigned in IDM. That is the thing. Just one minute. Can you yeah. I think uh, when I try this one, we are not getting right. So let me check again. Yeah. So let me close this one as well. No need of to close. I think we have the test. Okay. okay. It's not working. Let me refresh. Create implementation user. Okay, no issue. So meanwhile, so we will uh, go through this one and we'll come back because so we'll come back and uh, we'll complete that. One. So here manage procurement agents. So click on manage procurement agents. So here let me create one agent. G Hyderabad and agent. So that's why. So because now here the user, the user should be the agent here. That's why we created my uh, user, G user. So I'm assigning this one, okay? And that's fine. So no issues. And this one is by default. So you we don't need to call this one. Many suppliers and everything. Everything is allowed. You can save and close. Because without that, we can't go ahead with the uh, common options. Okay. Oh, it is fine. So next one is common options for payables and its procurement. So once we practice for uh, one cycle, okay, so then so it will not take much more time. So you can implement the product uh, within, uh, if you have the data and if you are uh, doing everything. So I am saying about CRP. So if you want to say, uh, go for the CRP for one legal entity and one ledger and one business unit. So then you can complete in two or three days itself. Because without data, I am saying without data because without the previous data 
just uh, doing the setup yeah. you'll be just doing the setups and then completing the testing and everything okay so now how is ge business unit right so let me check it ge business in ge hyderabad okay so now i want to i want to give all the accounts here so here is a liability account so what i can do is can i use account payable so let me copy and paste here for all the mandatory accounts okay and we'll change accordingly okay so here the uh, main thing is uh, accounts only and <coughs> legal and information we don't require the i'm just checking the mandate information here okay fine so let me check the prepayment prepayment here so we can you can check the prepayment in the description so like in ebs we can check the prepayment so here okay it is a prepayment click on okay here also you can check the we have the rates i think so let's check the we have the rates for that wait don't have the rate so let me do conversion rate So revenue invoice price variance. So I can we can go for the price variance, rates variance, conversion rate variance. Okay. take the same variance for this one and for the discount the discount set here so this can take you can take this can take and click on okay fine So now this one is I am taking the rate variance here and save and close. Fine, this is fine. Yes, sir. One question. Yeah, yeah. There we have realized gain account as well as conversion variance, right? Yeah, yeah. Realize the gain, the gain uh, account and conversion rate. So here in the conversion rate, what happens is, so while doing the conversion, so from so we, okay, if you are doing any kind of him, so uh, and uh, so you are uh, yeah, so you purchase so uh, for uh, GST and then uh, while paying, so if it is INR, so then in conversion will be will be will be taken place the conversion rate. And here the, the gain or the loss will be. So if there if there is a great difference because now so I purchased with the sixty sixty and so the as per the purchase order uh, um, purchase order um, norms or agreements so uh, what it is I will I will pay as per the rate so uh, as an uh, payment date okay today invoice um, uh, the invoice rate is so sixty per dollar. And while paying, if it is 62, then we are gaining, right? And if it is 
Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. If it is uh, now it is 60, and uh, while paying, if it is 58, then we are gaining. So then, if it is 62, then it will, we are losing. So that losing will go to the so realized will lose, and uh, the gaining will go 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 for the realized gain distribution. So here, here the rate will take place, and here, so how much you are gaining, uh, how much you are losing while paying. So if we, if the norm is okay, whatever I am. Um, so, so, I, so whatever I am, uh, I have the as per the invoice date I am paying. Then no, 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 no loss, no, no gain. Okay. So if you are discussing uh, as per the payment date, the, if the rate is as per the payment date, so then there will be gain or loss. Got it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The rates are based on the so. Uh, so this is uh, purely based on whether you are. Uh, uh, taking the rates based on the invoice or based on the uh, payment. Okay, let me select the uh, invoice and cancel. Okay, just click on done. So I did this one and now it is the time to uh, have our own user. Okay. So let me go to the setup here and you can also query this one. Implementation users, go for all the tasks. So create implementation users. Yeah, now I got it, click on administration. Okay, now I need to complete these two. These two. So our user is G user. I'm just querying G G. So G dot user. Our is G dot user. So let me query directly. Okay. So then click on here, and it will give you the this one roles. Now I need to assign the roles. This is the by default. You will get the default. And uh, so let me let me. Take the roles first. I can give you. I can. I can give uh, IT security manager. So these are all the implementation because I don't want to come back again and uh, for the implementation setup. IT security manager and then implementation consultant. Let me give the implementation consultant. Implementation consultant. Application implementation consultant. If you want, you can drag and you can check it. So then, next one is employee. So you, we should be employee, or we can't do any kind of data. Set here employee and add. So now it is a time to assign our roles. Okay. So let me check with the uh, tables. Tables G. Hyderabad. Okay, ours is a G business unit, right? So whether we, yeah, correct. So here, let me assign. So actually, I had a, I, I had mentioned some. So yeah, we need to assign main agent, specialist, and super user. So these are all the roles we have. So let me let me select all. Okay, so main agent, super specialist. Actually, you can just click on control and then click on add control and select and you can add so I had selected all that's fine and uh, for the especially for the supplier okay for the supplier so we need to assign the supplier administrator and service manager otherwise we can't get it supplier administrator and supplier manager we need to assign these two related to supplier otherwise so we can't get the supplier create supplier button here software button we can't get software administrator and the other one is we need to get the supplier manager supplier manager okay got it okay so now we are we are done okay we are done while assigning this one 
and we need to change the password because we don't know we don't know right for password while giving the username we didn't give we have not given any password there now you can change so manually generated so now i am giving here so first letter capital cloud 2020 so anyhow we need to change this one here we use the cloud 2020 fine i don't want the email the new password because in the real time you can use to email the password i don't want this one then save it so now what we can do is so let us log out and uh, let me run the synchronization process that is also main thing right run user and roles because that means that so it will be updated so that the roles will be updated to the user so role synchronization process it will be done so now we are done with all these setups so now what i can do is so now i can log in with uh, yeah, in my user i can open the periods I need to create a supplier, then we'll create the invoice. Let us hope that we will complete all today. Sign out. Okay, so our CG user, I had given uh, cloud, right? So cloud, cloud 2020, CLOUD 2020, sign. So it will ask to change the password. So let us change the password. So this one is cloud 2020. Okay, and uh, or is or is CLU 2020. And here also or is CLU 2020. Fine. Then submit. Here I'm just noting down. So our C's. So user, okay. G dot user Oracle. You can use it. So till the main password expires. Okay, Oracle 2020. Fine. So now update password. Fine. So now let me let me go to the here. And uh, you can see that you can see <coughs> most of the uh, set of payroll setups all the, all the I think we have the payroll setup and everything. Just I want to <coughs> I want to open the AP period. For this, what we can do is so you can go for the payables dashboard or you can go for the invoice related thing. We'll check the software later. Okay, so this is the dashboard, right? So let's see. <coughs> the dashboard, okay, I'm not getting the day. So this one, so let me go for the invoices. Here we get it. So go to the task list or work list. We call it the work list or task list. So let me go for the manage accounting periods here. Manage accounting periods. So actually, our C is a US uh, primary ledger, right? So our C is US primary ledger. Yes. Yeah. So let me check it. Let me check this ledger. Application is this one. Okay, fine. Okay, not a problem. And our ledger is different. Yeah, uh, this is our ledger. Okay, so uh, yes, family ledger. In this, uh, I have selected my ledger. So here, uh, so what happened is everything is open. Okay, you can see that even it is open till uh, June, <coughs> June, July. All the periods are open. So if it is, uh, so as we discussed earlier, so it just uh, so okay, for example, I want to close this period. Okay, so which is called uh, this uh, one seventeen. Okay. So this one, okay. So for this, so what we can do is just select here. Once you select it, will so if it is uh, if it is uh, uh, future status, future entry, then open period will be pop up. It will pop up, and and uh, if it is in uh, open status, closed period will be pop up. It'll be, okay, so it will activate. So then just click on close period. 
So then one process will be initiated and then go. Now the periods are open. So this is the same way. Okay, here what happens? I will show you that here it is a feature entry interval period. So then what happens? You just select it. Then open period. So just just select the open period and then it will be open. Okay, it will be open. Let me try this one. Open. It will be open. So for this, what we can do is we already discussed this one. So now for this, you need to go for the schedule processes and you can select. You can set. You can set it. Okay, it is succeeded. Succeeded means then you are able to see that one. So now let me go to the invoices. And here, so work list and open manage for accounting periods. Here you can see that. Yeah, this period we need to we need to select our uh, family GS family and you can see that. Yeah, this is open. This is open status, and this is in close. Books are closed and these books are open. So this is a way to open and close the periods. Okay. So now this is the big task like the software because it's a simple one only. But uh, we are not getting right. So procurement. So it should be in the procurement only. So let me go for the procurement and suppliers. So here earlier we had issue that we don't have the create button. I think so. <clears throat> let us try it now whether we can get the create button or not. Yeah, create supplier. We got it. Create supplier. Okay, so let me create the supplier. Okay, here I am taking G supplier. I am giving G sub prefix because otherwise, what happens? See, it is a friend authorized. And uh, so here, this one is I am taking the corporation create. This is authorized for spending. So uh, let us plan today. So at least uh, to complete as many as possible. Okay. Now uh, parent supplier. So this so this general case is fine. So here. So let me check it. Software profile. This one is not as a mandatory. So let me go for the business information. So business information. On products, so these are all not mandatory. Okay. Taxation payments. Now it is not only of this one. <coughs> so whenever we create the bank accounts, and then we can give the default one. So that means whenever we select, we select the subject, and default by default the bank account will get. So now we don't have our own bank account. So let me. So we will take later. So here in the higher header level. So let me create address, software address here. <coughs> we can create our own software address. So here, uh, so G software address name itself. I am taking G supplier, and uh, so let me go for the United States. Okay, yes. <coughs> and postal codes. So let me take the postal one zero zero. Usually we are using this one. <coughs> Sorry. Select this one. Okay. And this line. We did by default we got it already. So here we are using this one. That's the purpose, ordering, remit and RFP for all these things. So otherwise, if you are only for RFP, then you can use this only for RFP. So, procurement details here also for the address level. What we can do is site site level. So let me select this one. Okay. Site is so G supply. So purchasing payment primary. So we can do that. Okay. So for the purchasing and payment purpose, we are using. And then we can go for the transaction tax. We are not using now. So we will we will use later payments. Payments also we don't have this payment. So 
<coughs> we are not using the default we will use as per the usage okay. save and close okay address is ready sites sites also ready sites are ready okay. we just created right sites sites we can create there there itself otherwise we can create in this tab as well okay this site has no active contacts okay because we don't have the contacts we didn't create the contacts right? so we can create the contacts as well but it is active on only active on only so contact, we can go for the contact. See if you we can create the contact. This is not a mandatory field. So you can create the contact. Contact means okay, I can give G user. Okay, so you can give the some kind of information, the contact information. <coughs> Plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Fine, seven close. Okay, contact of save. You use it, contact and qualification. Qualification, these are all not mandatory setups. Qualification is person. And mainly others and site. So now save and close. Okay. So that is the GE supplier we created. Okay, so now let me go to the invoice creation let me try to create invoice okay so for that what we need to do is we need to go for the invoice window invoice window this is a invoice window so let us create here okay so click on here create invoice So here uh, for the creation of the invoice, I need to select G Hyderabad business unit and supply is our G supplier, right? So G Hyderabad supplier. I'm just calling G search criteria, G supplier. site as well I think we had given player okay. so check any kind of notification will be there. task list right there were some other options for supplier register supplier something do we need to do something there i am not I just checking yeah yeah so let me check here so, so here let me cancel this one okay so here let me go to the suppliers so here right you are saying this one okay so many suppliers so let me check whether we will get our supplier or not g search yeah we have supplier so this is supplier so okay yeah so you are saying register supplier right so register supplier. register supplier is not a not it's not mandatory look let me anyhow g <coughs> request reason one time supply request new supply source check request so new supply source 
and this one uh, friend of rights and tax organization corporation so we don't need these things and then still finish that you must uh, provide a tax pay <coughs> it is a US item to be enabled. And these are all we created, right? Why we need to create again? But uh, and one more thing. So here we are not we are not going to be a qualification address. Let we create it all. Share and what to address or select the one address. So, anyhow, let me give the G location. We already created a G location. user account for at least one user account <coughs> this is not Software. 
So we'll try to create a so we'll check this one and we'll try to create one more supply. Try to create one more supply. Let us see how it like, maybe kind of a, maybe I think we no need of any kind of uh, approvals. Let me check here. G. I think there is some request got submitted. Uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, request. Yeah, when last step you did, did right for registration. Okay. After that, uh, it popped up some message, right? That the registration request got submitted. So, okay. can you just check in the schedule process if there is some running background process? Okay. Yeah, action request, upper registration request for this one. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you are able to hear me, right? So I think. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I'm able to hear you now. Yeah. So, so yeah, you are saying someone request is there? Yeah, yeah. It's request. Okay. Check the. Okay, so we are kind of approved. This is the way we are approved. Okay, action required. You approved it, right, Prasad? Yeah, I had approved, but okay. I am not able to see. Here is G approved, G approved, okay. Okay. So, 
So let me check whether I can get. Okay, okay, we are going for ordering and remit too. So, so let me close. Okay, only so if you are only using RFQ, then no need of uh, the remit to and uh, ordering. When you are using ordering remit, no need of this one. So let me try this. Save and close. Sites. Let me. So, this name is Hyderabad. So, this is fine. So, this one primary pay purchasing. Purchasing payment. Okay, fine. This one, so what I can do is, so this one alternate side purchasing. For the purchasing. So, see, on close. So, contacts, it is giving contacts. Thank <laughs> you. 
should be approved status only it should be approved and even we got the ge supply right so in the ge supply corporation 
so i think you don't need a you need you don't yeah. need, you don't need for registration but it should be approved it should approve correct it cannot so okay so this one you must give the value is same so software number so what i am doing is i am giving the software number here so g 1 2 3 4 that is software number so amount usd in the usd amount in invoice number right to person invoice yeah. number right yeah yeah the invoice number i am giving invoice number this is the invoice number this is the invoice amount so now so i am giving a 1000 okay and i don't have the distribution we can create later the distribution and we can we can create one more invoice and here i am just giving uh, just one invoice okay for uh, one invoice uh, account date and reference this one is fine okay. so here distribution so distribution distribution uh, combination so you can do the distribution so for the any kind of So here we can do the distribution account and everything. Select here. This one section is not applicable for the action. Let me save this. Save. Just save it. Try this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Later. Invoice. Please. So let me manage invoices. G G one two three four. I think. No. So let me select this invoice. Okay. So invoice and pay and everything. So validation is not done. Yeah, yeah, validation is not done. Yeah, correct. Hold validation. So you need to go to the action and validation. So before that, I am just taking the. so we can go for the validate validation needs to be validation okay <clears throat> maybe so here uh, hold it out yeah it is a hold not to the hold but we need to give the distribution variance okay yeah distribution account distribution variance okay so that we need to give the distribution account here Okay. 
tool not required, just validation only. But in the validation, so we, we have not provided the distribution, right? Distribution account. So hold, there is no holds. So the installments holds, uh, only distribution variant. So distribution variance is there. So So this is the distribution variant. Okay, reason hold. And held. So the reason. Name. Amount validated. We cannot manually this type of a resolve the hold and resubmit. Resolve the hold and resubmit. So it is not, hold is not active. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe the distribution, we have to enter that. Distribution account, right? So let me try yeah. to create uh, one more invoice with the same supplier. In the lines section, Prasad, first one, the line. Line is not given, so I'm not able to check this line. So let me cancel and then let me create it. Okay. I thought today at least to send the journals to GM. It is one more notification. I think we have not provided the distribution accounts here. Distribution account we need to provide distribution. <coughs> Create invoice. So is there any way to put a um, so hole? I think I put the hole, but still I'm getting my calls. Uh,
Yeah, actually, I put the hold. Uh, so, so once I put the hold, do not disturb. So then, uh, so then it will be active, right? Actually, still I am getting the calls. Okay, okay. So actually, so if you put if you put the hold, then so that if you do not disturb, then we don't get the call because the thing is that whenever I get a call, so this one is session is disturbing. They can't work. Okay. Now, so let me try for one to seven eight nine zero, and amount is this one, and I'm just giving fifteen hundred. Okay. So let us go in a systematic way. So and here, okay. So here, what I can do is I can give the fifteen hundred. Because we don't have any distributions, right? So we don't have any distribution here. Okay, so we have this amount only. We must uh, wait. And we need to give the distribution for this. By default, is giving okay. This one is not required, and this one is not required. So, what kind of attribute? So, number, purchased, track as asset is not required. Right? These are all not required. Ah, uh, Kishore, you are not able to hear me. Yeah, no problem. So, okay, I will resolve today. So then, let us continue tomorrow. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Thank you.